Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Today, John Coleman and I have the pleasure of speaking with Manny Pacheco of Forgotten Hollywood fame. How you doing, Manny? I'm doing great, Art. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Manny, uh, your blog, uh, you, you're very well known for your blog. You've got thousands and thousands of people um, reading your blog weekly. But what a lot of folks don't know and why they might want to actually read your blog is, I, and this is something I'm always impressed with, your blog, besides kind of covering current events and Hollywood and filmmaking and uh, entertainment in general, quite frankly, um, your blog is a wonderful resource. On that left-hand column, you have uh, resources of research places and libraries and collections, mm. and it's you've really done a lot of work on it. Now, they're all there, and the links are all there. It's a wonderful resource. Yeah, and you know, considering in 2009 when my nephew, Matthew Van de Wauer, uh, suggested that I should do a blog in conjunction with the uh, making of my books, my first book, actually the creation of my first book, and he says, you got to have an active blog. And I said, wait a minute, what, what's a blog? <laughs> I didn't even know in 2009 what a blog was. And he, and he explained to me that it's basically a written diary. And I tried to come up with an angle. And that angle was to try to tell Hollywood's story in 20, uh, 2009 uh, as it relates to Hollywood's golden age. And then, of course, 2010, 2011, and, and so on and so forth. And so I thought I should include... Uh, ways of people to find out other pieces of information that I, I cannot write blogs about because they're already there. Why reinvent the wheel? So I, I, I threw out uh, names of resources and they've changed over the years. Some, some of these resources go away. I mean, obviously for a time I had Debbie Reynolds' uh, perspective museum that she had created a website for, even though the museum wasn't officially alive or, or, or a working museum, right. the virtual museum at, at that point. Yeah. And, and and has since gone away. But I mean, I, I, I throw in as, as many different kinds of resources to allow folks to kind of explore beyond what I'm writing about, because I think that's a that's a service that I I want to deliver to the to the folks who decide that they want to visit my site. And then I try to tell a lot of different stories, although recently, more recently, I've, I've been working so much with my podcast and with, with you as, as a contributor with Celebrating Act Two. And with the fact that a lot of our golden age uh, actors are starting to die. So I've been concentrating more on those kinds of stories, but I'm, I'm happy to tell any kind of story that is interesting. I mean, there's lots of great stories that are coming out even today um, that I like to share in a blog. And one other thing I do like to do, although I don't put it on my blog site, I'll put it on my Facebook page. If somebody writes a really great blog on another site, I'm happy to share that on, on my Facebook page. Because yeah. I think that if they tell a great story and I know that I can't improve upon that, then why try? Let let the let the folks who wrote those great stories tell those stories. And by the sure. way, I buried the lead. It is the ForgottenHollywood.com blog, www.ForgottenHollywood.com. So. Yeah. Well, I like it as a fan of film, as a moviegoer. I like it because it it shows how dedicated you are to the topic. Uh, you're not just a historian. Well, I, you know, I guess, I guess, first and foremost, as Leonard Malton would say, I'm a writer. Mm. Yeah. Mean, he would say the same thing. I mean, he's a film critic. He's he's a television personality. But at the heart of things, we are writers. Yes. And sometimes I I like to write a lot, so then I end up writing chapters for a book. But if I don't feel like I want to write a lot, but still want to write, <laughs> the blog is just the best place to go to write. You know, quick snappy, wonderful stories. The late yeah. Gary Lykin, who was my partner on my podcast and my radio show, uh, Gary Lykin was the award-winning journalist for the Orange County Register. He used to say that, uh, Manny, you, you tell stories very quickly. You get in, get out, and that makes for really great storytelling. You don't, you don't frill it up with extra verbose, verbosity. Oh, and so he, uh, verbosity. He really verbosity. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So he was real happy the way I got in and got out uh, quickly in, in stories. And that's the way I like to do it. I like it to be two, three paragraphs at most and, and really get to the, to the meat of things. Yeah. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough in 2012 to have my, my, my blog, 
nominated for an award. Really? Oh. And uh, it was by the, the Los Angeles Press Club for uh, for Very best nice. entertainment blog. Mm. And uh, I guess there were hundreds of blogs that were that were considered, and I came in uh, third place. Very I took, good. I, I got a certificate for third place. Second place was the blog that was presented by uh, James uh, Franco. James <laughs> Franco came in second, and then the uh, organization known as the RAP, the journalistic or organization, the RAP, they took first. But to be able to say I took third place right behind James Franco was kind of a treat. <laughs> so that's kind you of know. Cool. It's also a lot of people yeah. may not know, um, uh, but uh, you regularly appear on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, and I know that you belong to a number of uh, Hollywood related uh, uh, groups on there as well. And it seems like right. every day, uh, look, we we have uh, maybe uh, 40 or 50 uh, releases a year that involve you both these uh, interviews, but uh, also the ones we did at TCM and other special events like uh, the Hollywood Heritage uh, Museum. And uh, they, so we're constantly involved with you, but I'm always amazed because I go on these sites and I see these one-off articles. It looks as if you may not do an article a day, it almost appears, but certainly you have something to write about, something old, something contemporary. There's always something of interest in the world of entertainment, Hollywood entertainment. So, uh, and all of these roads lead to your blog. Mm -hmm. They do. And, you know, it looks like I'm working really, really hard. It's because, you know, it takes a lot of effort. I don't know that I'm working as hard as all of that. I mean, I do have my day jobs as well as a professor and, and on the radio. But I do spend a lot of time trying to get the word out that Hollywood is still alive and, 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 and forgotten Hollywood is still alive. My, I, I've written At this point, I've written over 2,200 blogs since 2009. Mm. And wow. my my sister, uh, that's the mother of Matthew, my my nephew. She ended up reading just about every blog I've I've written, and she picked out 125 of my best blogs. And we have collaborated to come out with a book sometime soon, and we're going to call it "Forgotten Hollywood: Beware of the Blog." Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. By the way, we're going to have all the. All the artwork that looks very comic book bookish and a big pink gelatin like the like the blob. Yeah. It's, it's going to yeah. be the blog. Yeah. Also, what's fascinating and, uh, are your archives. So she picked 120 some odd. How many uh, do you estimate you've actually written over the years that are actually in your well, archives just, that people can go take a look at? All 2200 are, are, are available. Oh, the 2200. Oh, really? Oh, wow. All 2200 are available. Um, yeah, they're all there. Every one of them's there. So, and I, and I look at my, I look at my analytics and it's amazing how many people go back to some of the older, um, maybe, maybe they Google a specific topic. Maybe yeah. you're going to Google something like, I don't know, uh, Tom Poston. And maybe yeah. I wrote about Tom Poston in 2015. So they'll just go back. They'll, they'll hit the link that, you know, after they Google it and they yeah. end up on my blog from, from 2015. So it's amazing how many people actually come up with, uh, research on my blogs from uh, from years and years ago, sure. and I, I'm like, why? Why are they looking up this particular name? It's just interesting to me. <laughs> but they do, and the analytics show it. So it's yeah. you know, God bless analytics. <laughs> well, Manny, I recommend that everybody read your blog on a regular basis. Well, thank you. ForgottenHollywood.com, and then of course the book, which will be about my blog. Uh, Forgotten Hollywood, Beware of the Blog, and it'll be written by me, Manny Pacheco, and my sister, Virginia Vanderwaller. So uh, when that comes out, we'll let everybody know. And of course, everybody on Celebrating Act Two will know as well. You bet. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.